We have been taking part in the Turing Scheme for two years now and we have had some fantastic experiences that we have been able to offer the children in our school. We have taken children to both India and Dubai on fully funded trips um, thanks to funding from the Turing Scheme. Our school's been part of Erasmus projects for the last 13 years and it's really enhanced the education of our children. That came to an end with Brexit um, and we thought, uh, we were quite bereft, I'll be honest. Um, and then we got an email from our local, our international officer from the local authority telling us all about the Turing scheme. Immediately, we started Googling it, finding out a little bit more about it. And we thought this is just perfect for our school. Having sort of experienced European countries for the last 13 years, we were ready to go more international. We applied for the Turing Scheme because we know that our school community is predominantly white British. Um, we live in a rural area of the northeast of England and we know that for many children they have never actually left the northeast of England. They've never travelled beyond the confines of, of, of our local area. So we are really adamant that actually we need to give our children experiences to see different cultures, to see um, different ways of life to experience different languages, maybe, you know, especially languages that are different from the ones that they will learn in school. So we chose our destinations based on that. Um, we already had existing partnerships in both India and Dubai, and we've continued to build on those partnerships. For many of the children that we took to both India and Dubai, this was the first time they had left the United Kingdom before. Some of them had never been on a plane and this was a real opportunity for them to get to see the world, to experience life in a different culture, to be exposed to different languages, to be exposed to different viewpoints and, and different ways of doing things from what they know um, through their lived experiences at home. We know that the Turing scheme is very focused on levelling up and we made sure that we targeted lots of children who maybe wouldn't have had this opportunity before. We know that our children have um, had wonderful experiences and these are memories that will last a lifetime. They'll never forget these visits. They'll never forget these school trips because how often do you get to go on a trip to India or to the United Arab Emirates as part of, as part of everyday life in year five and six? The children have come back. It's hard to, it's hard to explain um, the difference in them. They've certainly grown up, they've certainly gained a lot of independence and they've certainly been exposed to a culture completely different to their own and had their eyes opened up um, to the rights of children. That was part of our, um, our application and how the rights of children perhaps aren't being met um, in their eyes uh, um, all over the world as they perhaps naively thought they were. What was lovely about the trip was uh, I thought it would be quite difficult taking a lot of westernised children to India and I thought maybe the culture clash might be quite difficult but it was lovely to see that as soon as we went to either of the schools out there the children were straight in there playing with each other, communicating with each other and it was lovely for our children to realise that there's very little that separates us, we might be miles apart, but actually there's so many similarities between our children and the children in India. Now, my job is predominantly office-based, so I don't tend to get to have much to do with the children in the educational side of school, but I felt it was really important um, for me to see another culture and another way of educating children. I think we often forget in this country how lucky we are and how much we have. And so it was great to be able to take the children to another country and to see how their education system works with what they've got. Um, and there were lots of things that I think that we brought back that could change how we work in this school as well. We have been very lucky in our school that the parents are very happy for us to take their children away. Um, they put a lot of trust in us and we spent a long time before each visit preparing the children and their adults at home for the trip that was about to take place. 
When we're away, we keep in constant contact with home, making sure that we're sending photos, videos, and just updating them on what we're up to, because it is a big deal sending your nine or 10 or 11 year old child away on a trip to the other side of the world. When we travel, we set up a WhatsApp group with all of the parents in it, and that allows them to keep contact um, with us. And we send pictures, we send videos, and we send updates throughout our time there, just to make sure that they can be safe and secure knowing that their child is at the other side of the world, but that they're being well looked after and that actually they're having the time of their life. If you are considering applying for the Turing Scheme, please do. Um, it will have a transformational effect on both your school community and in the children's lives for the rest of their life. They're going to remember these trips for the rest of their life and they'll get to experience such a different world from where they live.